In a world where power and influence come with great risks, some black leaders require extraordinary levels of protection. From armored cars to elite security details, these 10 individuals live under constant guard. But who are they and what makes their security so top-notch? Get ready to discover the most protected black leaders on the planet, Mamadi Dumbuya. Kicking off our list of the most protected black leaders in the world at number 10, we've got Mamadi Dumbuya, the military president of Guinea. At just 43 years old, this guy's the second youngest president in all of Africa, but don't let his age fool you. He's got some serious security backing him up. Before he took power in a military coup back in 2021, Dumbuya was an officer in the Guinan Special Forces Group and even served in the French Foreign Legion. So you know he's got the skills and experience to keep himself safe. But with all the corruption and economic troubles under the previous president, Alpha Conde, it's no surprise that Dumbuya felt the need to take things into his own hands. Now that he's in charge, Dumbuya's rolling deep with military trucks, armored Humvees, and a security detail that's armed to the teeth. These guys aren't messing around. They're ex-French Legion fighters and current Guinan special military soldiers, so they know how to handle any threats that come their way. But it's not just manpower that keeps Dumbuya safe. His guards are also packing the latest in surveillance and security tech to make sure no one gets the drop on him. And with a coup attempt targeting him just a month after he took office in October 2021, it's clear that he needs all the protection he can get. What's interesting about Dumbuya's security setup is that he seems to prefer practical measures over flashy, luxurious ones. He's not trying to show off with fancy cars or over-the-top amenities. Instead, he's focused on surrounding himself with the toughest, most capable guards and equipment to ensure his safety. And when you consider the high-stakes world of African politics, where coups and assassinations are a real threat, it's no wonder Dumbuya's taking his security so seriously. He knows that one slip-up could cost him everything, so he's not taking any chances. But here's the thing, even with all this protection, Dumbuya's still vulnerable. No matter how many guards you have or how advanced your security tech is, there's always a chance that something could go wrong. And in a country like Guinea, where political instability is a constant threat, Dumbuya's got to stay on his toes at all times. So while he may be one of the most protected black leaders in the world, Dumbuya is also one of the most at risk. It's a precarious position to be in, but for now, he's doing everything he can to stay safe and maintain his grip on power. Alassane Ouattara Coming in at number 9 on our list, we've got Alassane Ouattara, the president of Ivory Coast. Now this guy's no stranger to conflict. When he first took office back in 2010, the country was in chaos. His presidency led to one of the bloodiest civil wars of the 21st century, and you know what that means. He needs some serious protection, and boy, does he have it. Ouattara rolls deep with a massive security entourage. We're talking up to 20 vehicles, including buses, vans, Humvees, and Range Rovers. This extensive convoy ensures he's never left alone and always has a formidable presence. But it's not just about the numbers. These vehicles are top of the line, built to withstand any threat that comes their way. Take his black armored Mercedes S-Class, for example. This beast is equipped with not one, but two engines for enhanced performance and security, and you can bet it's got all the latest safety features to keep Ouattara protected at all times. But the real muscle in his security detail, the heavily armed guards, snipers on rooftops, and high-tech military-grade weapons. These guys are trained to handle anything, and they're not messing around. With a convoy composition specifically designed for maximum protection, Ouattara's in good hands. Now here's where things get interesting. There's a lot of speculation about French involvement in Ouattara's protection. Given the historical context of his rise to power and ongoing political ties, it's not hard to see why. France played a big role in helping him gain office amidst all that conflict, so it makes sense that they'd have a vested interest in keeping him safe. But regardless of who's pulling the strings, one thing's for sure, Ouattara's security is no joke. The persistent threats and political instability that characterize his presidency make it clear that he needs all the protection he can get. And with a setup like this, he's got a fighting chance of staying safe in the face of any danger. So there you have it. Alassane Ouattara, the conflict survivor with a security detail that means business. But as impressive as his protection may be, he's not the only one on our list with a crazy setup. 
Ibrahim Traore. Here we got Ibrahim Traore, the man who's making waves as the youngest president on the planet. At just 35 years young, this firebrand is shaking things up in Burkina Faso, and he's got the security to match his bold moves. Now, Traore didn't just waltz into the presidency. He rose to power through a military coup, and his background as a captain in the military has a lot to do with how he approaches security. This guy's not messing around when it comes to keeping himself safe. And with the kind of anti-Western rhetoric he's been spitting, he's going to need all the protection he can get. You see, Traore made a big splash at the Russia-Africa summit, where he called out African leaders for being puppets of the West and made it clear that he's not a fan of foreign influence. And let's just say that didn't go over too well with France and other Western countries. In fact, Traore's main goal is to kick France out of Burkina Faso's mines, and that's only adding fuel to the fire. With all the foreign threats coming his way, Traore's had to seriously beef up his security. We're talking a highly militarized detail that's ready for anything. But here's the thing, even with all that protection, you can't underestimate the risks Traore's facing. He's a controversial figure, and the political scene in Burkina Faso is anything but stable. But despite the dangers, Traore's got a lot of love from his people at home. That adds a whole new layer to his security needs, because he's got to balance keeping himself safe with maintaining his popularity. It's a tricky line to walk, but so far Traore's managing to pull it off. So what does Traore's security setup actually look like? Well, we can't give away all the details, but let's just say it's impressive. With his military background and the high stakes he's dealing with, you can bet he's got some of the best trained guards and top-of-the-line equipment out there. But even with all that, there's always a chance that something could go wrong. That's the thing about being a high-profile leader. You're never really safe. And for someone like Traore, who's stirring up controversy and making bold moves, the risks are even higher. But he's not backing down, and he's got the security to prove it. So there you have it, Ibrahim Traore, the young firebrand who's shaking things up in Burkina Faso and beyond. Yori Museveni, meet the man who's been holding it down in Uganda for over three decades. That's right, we're talking about Yoweri Museveni, the president who's been in power since way back in 1986. This guy's no joke when it comes to security, and he's got a loyal military crew to prove it. See, Museveni's not just some regular president, he's got a serious military background that's helped him build one of the tightest security setups around. Before he even took office, he was already a big shot in the military world, leading a rebel group called the National Resistance Army against the government. So you know he's got the skills to keep himself safe. But Museveni's not just relying on his expertise. He's surrounded himself with a team of military officers who are ride-or-die loyal to him. And get this, even his son, General Muhuzi Kainarugaba, is part of his security squad. Talk about keeping it in the family. Muhuzi's not just there for show, either. He's held some seriously high-ranking positions in the Ugandan military, making him a key player in his dad's protection plan. As one source put it, being a former military officer and being in power for this long, he knows exactly how to arrange his security and how to gather a team of loyal military men around him who cannot betray him. But Museveni's military connections don't stop there. He's got loyal officers in all kinds of branches of the Ugandan security forces like the Special Forces Command. These elite units are tasked with protecting the president and other VIPs, so you know they mean business. And when it comes to Museveni's personal security detail, these guys are on another level. They're known for their super strict protocols and intense training, which makes sense given Museveni's military background. He's got a mix of bodyguards, military personnel, and high-tech security gadgets watching his back 24 sevenths. So there you have it, Yoweri Museveni, the long-standing protector of Uganda. With over 30 years in power and a security setup that's second to none, this guy's not messing around when it comes to staying safe. William Ruto, ha ha ha. I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard about the top dog in Kenya who's been rocking the presidential seat since 2022. Now this guy ain't playing around when it comes to his security detail. I mean, have you seen his motorcade? It's like a small army on wheels. Picture this, 12 beefy SUVs and a whole squad of 15 motorcycles, all moving in perfect formation around Ruto's ride. And get this, his main whip is a tricked-out armored Toyota Land Cruiser. That's right, this president is rolling in style and safety. But it's not just about the flashy vehicles. Ruto's got a team of highly trained security personnel watching his back 24 sevenths. These guys are part of the Presidential Escort Unit, or PEU for short, and they're no joke. 
they've got mad skills in close protection, firearms handling, and surveillance. Plus, they're decked out in top-of-the-line gear like body armor and high-tech surveillance equipment. Ruto's security is on another level. I mean, with all the crazy stuff going down in Kenya, like terrorist threats from groups like Al-Shabaab, you can't be too careful. These militant groups and criminal organizations are no laughing matter, and Ruto's extensive security detail shows just how seriously he's taking his safety. But here's the thing. Even with all this protection, being a high-profile leader is never a guarantee of safety. It's a tough gig, and the threats are always evolving. That's why Ruto's security team has to stay on their toes and adapt to whatever comes their way. So, there you have it. William Ruto, the extensively protected president of Kenya. With his impressive motorcade and elite security squad, he's making sure he's got the best of the best watching his back. Cyril Ramaphosa. Number five on our list of the most protected black leaders in the world is none other than Cyril Ramaphosa, the main man in charge of South Africa. Now, being the president of the second biggest economy in Africa is no joke, and Ramaphosa's role is straight up crucial. But with great power comes some serious security needs, and that's where his VIP protection unit comes in clutch. These guys are the real deal when it comes to keeping Ramaphosa safe. They go through intense training to make sure they're always on point and ready to handle any situation that comes their way. And let's talk about the president's ride a custom-made BMW that screams both luxury and security. You know he's not messing around when it comes to his transportation, but the flex doesn't stop there. When Ramaphosa's on the move, he's got a full-on motorcade that'll make your head spin. We're talking SUVs, motorcycles, and police cars all working together like a well-oiled machine to get him where he needs to go. It's a sight to behold, and it's all about making sure the main man stays safe. You might be wondering, though, why Ramaphosa needs such a heavy-duty security detail. Well, it all comes down to the political landscape in South Africa. Sure, the country's got a strong economy, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Crime and political instability are still major issues, and that's why Ramaphosa's got to have the best of the best watching his back. But here's the thing. Even with all that protection, there's still some drama surrounding Ramaphosa's security team. The VIP Protection Unit, aka the Blue Light Gang, has caught some flack for their hardcore tactics. One columnist even called them out, saying if they want respect, they should step out of their fancy rides and fight crime. Ouch! At the end of the day, though, Ramaphosa's security setup is no joke. From his elite protection unit to his tricked-out motorcade, he's got all the bases covered. And in a country like South Africa, where the political game can be rough, that kind of protection is essential. Emerson Mnangagwa Coming in next is Zimbabwe President Emerson Mnangagwa, the president of Zimbabwe, who took the reins through a military coup back in 2017. This guy's no stranger to navigating the treacherous waters of Zimbabwe's political scene, and he's got the security detail to prove it. With regular threats coming at him from all angles, Manangagwa's not taking any chances. He's got a crew of 50 bodyguards watching his back 24 7 and these dudes mean business. Decked out in sleek black suits, they're packing some serious heat in those briefcases. We're talking automatic weapons, folks. But Menangagwa's security isn't just about the muscle, he's a survival strategist, always thinking two steps ahead. Since he became the president through a military coup, Menangagwa is also very careful so he doesn't suffer the same fate as Robert Mugabe. He knows that in the cutthroat world of Zimbabwean politics, one wrong move could be his last. And let's not forget, Menangagwa's rise to power wasn't exactly a smooth one. He's faced multiple assassination attempts and even had an explosion go down at one of his political rallies. But through it all, he's managed to stay one step ahead, thanks in no small part to his elite security team. These guys, known as the Presidential Guard, are the real deal. They were originally set up to protect Robert Mugabe, but now they've evolved into a top-notch force, rocking high-tech radio gear, armored vehicles, and a whole army of agents. They're not messing around when it comes to keeping their boss safe. But even with all that firepower and expertise, Menangagwa's security situation isn't always airtight. There have been some incidents that raise questions about the loyalty of his team, like that time a member of the Presidential Guard unleashed 30 rounds at a presidential building before getting caught. Yikes! At the end of the day, though, Emerson Nangagwa is a master at navigating the dangerous political landscape of Zimbabwe. Bola Ahmed Tinubu 
we've got the freshly elected president of Nigeria, Bola Tinubu, stepping into some seriously big shoes. This man just took the reins in 2023, and let me tell you, he ain't messing around when it comes to security. Tinubu's inherited a protection system that's tighter than a drum, and it's all about keeping him safe and sound. First off, let's talk about Tinubu's ride. When this guy hits the road, he's rolling deep with a motorcade that's straight up impressive. We're talking eight vehicles, all ready to keep him out of harm's way. But that's just the starting lineup. If the situation calls for it, Tinubu can double down on that motorcade, bringing in even more heavy hitters to make sure he's untouchable. And don't even get me started on the high-tech gadgets and gizmos this man's got at his disposal. Tinubu's security team is packing some serious heat when it comes to cutting-edge protection measures. They're not leaving anything to chance, and they've got the tools to prove it. But here's the thing. Even with all that firepower and fancy tech, Tinubu's still gotta watch his back. Nigeria's political scene can be a wild ride, and there's always someone looking to make a move. That's why Tinubu's security detail is always on high alert, ready to shut down any potential threats before they even get close. And let's not forget about the big guns, the Guards Brigade. These guys are the real deal, trained to neutralize any danger that comes Tinubu's way. They're not just bodyguards, they're a full-on elite unit dedicated to keeping the main man safe and sound. But even the best security in the world can't stop the haters from running their mouths. Tinubu caught some flack recently for rolling up to an event with a convoy of over 100 vehicles. Critics were quick to call him out, saying it was a bit much, especially with Nigeria's economy taking a hit after the fuel subsidies got the axe. At the end of the day, though, Bola Tinubu's security setup is no joke. From his tricked-out motorcade to his high-tech protection measures, this man's got all the bases covered. And in a country like Nigeria, where the political game is always changing, that kind of security is absolutely essential. Paul Beer, we've got a man who's been running the show longer than most of y'all have been alive. Paul Beer, the president of Cameroon, has been holding it down for over four decades. That's right, this dude's been in charge since way back in 1982, making him the longest-serving president in all of Africa. But you don't stay on top for that long without some serious protection, and Bia's got security measures that'll make your head spin. When this man hits the streets, he's rolling with a motorcade that's straight-up presidential. We're talking horses, motorcycles, and a fleet of armored SUVs that could take on a small army. And the crown jewel of his ride? A top-of-the-line Range Rover Sentinel, bulletproof, and ready for anything. But Bia's security detail ain't just about the flashy rides. He's got a crew of 2,000 personnel watching his back 24 sevenths. These guys are the best of the best, hand-picked from the military and intelligence units to create a security team that's tougher than nails. They're a blend of special forces, the Presidential Guard, and the National Intelligence Agency, all working together to keep Bia safe from all threats. And believe me, there have been plenty of those over the years. Bia's faced multiple assassination attempts, including some seriously close calls in 1983, 1989, and 2004. In 2014, a militant group even tried to snatch him up, but his security shut that down real quick. It's no wonder the man's always on high alert. As one source put it, Paul Bia is always paranoid that someone might want to see him out of office probably through a coup. But despite all the threats and challenges, Bia managed to hold on to power for a mind-boggling 40 years. His security setup has evolved and adapted over time, creating a deeply entrenched system of protection that's kept him safe through thick and thin. It's a testament to the skill and dedication of his security team, and a reminder of just how much it takes to stay on top in the cutthroat world of African politics. So there you have it, folks. Paul Bia the veteran leader who's been under guard longer than most of us have been breathing, Paul Kagami. Y'all, we've made it to the top of the list, and trust me when I say this number one spot is well deserved. Paul Kagami, the president of Rwanda, has been holding it down since 2000, and his security setup is straight up next level. This man's protection game is so tight, it makes all the other leaders look like they're playing around. First off, let's talk about Kagami's special presidential guard. 
These guys ain't your average renter cops. They're the cream of the crop, handpicked from the Rwandan Defense Force, the National Intelligence and Security Service, and the Special Presidential Guard. It's like a dream team of security, all working together to keep Kagami safe from any threats. And when it comes to technology, Kagami's motorcade is tricked out with the latest and greatest. We're talking armored vehicles that could take a hit from a tank and keep on rolling. The crown jewel of his fleet, the armored Range Rover Sentinel. This bad boy is bulletproof, bombproof, and probably even alien-proof. It's like something straight out of a James Bond movie, and it's just one of the many high-tech toys in Kagami's security arsenal. But why does Kagami need such a heavy-duty setup? Well, if you know anything about Rwanda's history, you know it ain't been all sunshine and rainbows. The country's seen its fair share of turmoil from the genocide to ongoing regional tensions, and as the man in charge, Kagame's got a target on his back bigger than most. But it's not just about the threats. Kagame's also has a reputation to uphold. He's known as a powerful, sometimes controversial figure, and his security detail reflects that. They're not just there to keep him safe, they're there to send a message. As one source put it, President Paul Kagame's security detail is made up of a team of highly trained and experienced security personnel. In other words, don't even think about messing with this man. At the end of the day, Paul Kagame's security is in a league of its own. From the cutting-edge tech to the elite personnel, every aspect of his protection is designed to keep him safe and in control. And with a track record like his, it's clear that it's working. But as wild as Kagami's setup is, it's just one piece of the puzzle. When you look at all ten of these leaders together, you start to see some crazy trends emerging. From high-tech surveillance to military-grade vehicles, these guys are pulling out all the stops to stay safe. Which security measures stand out the most? Let's break down the craziest security measures these top 10 leaders are rocking. First up, we've got the presidential whips. Ain't nothing basic about these rides, y'all. Paul Beer and Paul Kagami are rolling in straight up luxury with their Range Rover Sentinels. These bad boys are bulletproof, bombproof, and probably even alien proof. They've got interiors so fancy, you'd think you were in a five star hotel on wheels. But it's not just about the flashy cars. These leaders are packing some serious heat when it comes to their security squads. We're talking elite units like Kagami's Dream Team, handpicked from the Rwandan Defense Force, the National Intelligence and Security Service, and the Special Presidential Guard. These guys are the best of the best, trained to handle anything that comes their way. And let's not forget about the tech. These leaders are using surveillance and security technology that's straight out of a spy movie. From high-tech radio systems to advanced armored vehicles, they've got it all. It's like they're living in a real-life James Bond flick, and they ain't playing around. But what really sets these leaders apart is the sheer size of their security details. Take Paul Beer, for example. This man's rolling with a crew of 2,000 personnel watching his back 24 sevenths. That's like having a small army at your beck and call. And Bola Tinubu's motorcade? It's got up to 100 vehicles forming a formidable defense strategy that's orchestrated by the Guards Brigade. Now you might be thinking, is all this really necessary? But when you look at the threats these leaders face, it starts to make sense. From assassination attempts to militant groups trying to snatch them up, these guys are constantly in the crosshairs. And in countries with a history of turmoil and unrest, you can never be too careful. So, how does this stack up against other high-profile folks around the world? Well, let's just say these African leaders are in a league of their own. Sure, you've got your typical bodyguards and armored cars, but the combination of military-grade vehicles, specialized units, and massive security details, that's something you don't see every day. It's like these leaders are saying, go big or go home. And with the kind of threats they're up against, who can blame them? But even with all this high-tech gear and hardcore personnel, sometimes things still go sideways. Notable security incidents. These African leaders ain't just sitting pretty with their top-notch security. Nah, their defenses have been put to the test more times than you can count. And we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill security breaches. These are the kinds of incidents that make headlines and keep their teams on their toes. Take Paul Beer, for example. This man survived more assassination attempts than most people have birthdays. 
1983, he dodged a coup plot like a pro, but that was just the beginning. Fast forward to 1989 and 2004, and you've got even more attempts on his life. And if that wasn't enough, a militant group tried to snatch him up in 2014. But thanks to his elite crew of nearly 2,000 personnel, including military special forces, the Presidential Guard Unit, and the National Intelligence Agency, Beer's still standing tall. And then there's Emerson Nangagwa, the president of Zimbabwe. This guy's been through it all from coups to bombings. During a political rally, someone tried to take him out with a bomb. But did that stop him? Nah, he just revamped his security team, bringing in the presidential guard, an elite unit of the Zimbabwe National Army, and decked them out with high-tech radio tech and armored vehicles. But it's not just about surviving attacks. Sometimes it's the close calls that really keep these leaders on their toes. Like when Cyril Ramaphosa, president of South Africa, had his security detail halted in Poland during a peacekeeping mission to Russia. The Polish authorities straight up refused to clear 12 containers of weapons and other equipment, and his security team was stuck on the plane. Talk about a wake-up call. And let's not forget about the constant threats from militant groups like Al-Shabaab and Boko Haram. William Ruto, president of Kenya, relies on his presidential escort unit, PEU, to keep him safe. These 2,500 highly trained officers are the last line of defense against some seriously dangerous folks. But it's not just the big flashy incidents that shape these leaders' security. It's the day-to-day -day grind of staying one step ahead. From Yoweri Museveni's decades of thwarting coups and rebellions in Uganda to Ibrahim Traore's beefed-up security in the face of foreign threats in Burkina Faso, these teams are always adapting and evolving. So what do all these wild incidents tell us? They show just how crucial these security measures are. Without their armored cars, elite squads and high-tech gear, who knows what could have happened to these leaders. But they also remind us that no matter how tight your security is, there's always a chance that something could go sideways behind the security scenes. All right, so you've seen the flashy cars, the high-tech gear, and the massive security details. But what does it really take to keep these African leaders safe? Let's take a peek behind the scenes and see what goes down on the daily. First up, coordination is key. These security teams ain't just running around like headless chickens. Nah, they're working hand in hand with local law enforcement to make sure everything runs smooth as butter. Take Paul Kagame's crew, for example. They've got personnel from the Rwandan Defense Force, the National Intelligence Agency, and the Special Presidential Guard all working together like a well-oiled machine. But it's not just about the big picture. These teams got a sweat the small stuff too, especially when their leaders step out in public. When William Ruto hits the streets, his motorcade is like a rolling fortress of security. We're talking armored SUVs, motorcycles, and police cars all buzzing through the city in a carefully choreographed dance. And let's not forget about the training. These security personnel aren't your average renter cops. They're the best of the best, undergoing some seriously hardcore training to make sure they're ready for anything. Close protection techniques, firearms handling, surveillance, you name it, they've mastered it. Just look at Kenya's presidential escort unit. These guys are described as nothing short of universal soldiers, but it's not just about the muscle. These teams are also packing some serious brain power, using the latest surveillance and security tech to stay one step ahead of any potential threats. From advanced radio systems to cutting-edge armored vehicles, they've got it all. And when it comes to public appearances, they leave nothing to chance. Every detail is meticulously planned and executed with military precision. Of course, even with all this training and tech, sometimes things still go sideways. That's when these teams really show their mettle. Take Mamadi Dumbuya's guards, for example. These guys are ex-French Legion fighters and current Guinea special military soldiers. They're ready to handle anything from coup attempts to militant attacks, all while keeping their leader safe and sound. So. The next time you see one of these African leaders rolling around with their massive security details, just remember, it's not just for show.